Hey, um, welcome back to another one of my tutorials. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add customs to your server, like vendors, mobs, or items, bags, armor. Okay, um, first, let's get started by um, going to www.wow-v.com. In order to use this, um, you need to make an account. So make sure to register and then log in. Um, once you've done that, like here are the here is what you want to create: weapon, armor, jewelry, ammo, bag, vendor, mod slash NPC. If you want to create a weapon, just click it. Put the name. The quote is um what the yellow the yellow words in quotation marks in the bottom. Uh, let's see. Here are the options like epic, legendary, rare. Display ID to this is like what the item is gonna look like. So if you wanna look, if you want it to look like um, the Armageddon or any weapon, use a display ID finder tool. Search the item name. Search like anything or whatever. Avengers armor, I don't care. Make sure it's a weapon though. Just um, copy and then paste. The entry ID is um, the item ID. Like so, when you do the care add item, like XXX, that's gonna be the number. The X is. So make sure you put like a good number. Anything that's like 8,000 and up or 5,000 and up is a good number because they're usually not taken. And if it is taken, then it won't work. So make sure um, it's an item ID that's not taken. Um, the rest right here is pretty much self explanatory. I'm pretty sure you guys could do it. Okay, now for armor. Go right here, it's pretty much the same thing. Find the display ID, the entry ID, make sure it's not taken, and then the rest also, it's pretty much self explanatory. Uh, jewelry, it's the same thing. Most of these are the same thing. So, yeah, ammo, bag, vendor. Okay, now for vendor, right here, put the name of it. Sub name. This this is the name that goes in the bottom. The display ID. Like, what do you want them to look like? So use a tool, like a mob name or a, or a boss name. I'm just gonna put Illidan. It's right here. Just copy and paste it. The level you want them to be. The vendor ID. Make sure it's not taken. Try to pick a high number because there's a lot of vendors. Health, mana, bounce ID. Leave this blank because it's not needed. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Mob slash NPC. This is to make um like bosses, bosses or creatures, anything like that. Okay, um now. Um, yeah, also it's pretty much self explanatory. Try and leave this right here at the, as it is because um, it's good right here as it is. Okay, um, now to add it, like create the weapon, armor, jewelry, ammo, bag, vendor, or mob slash NPC. Um, if you want to add it, just like fill out all this stuff and then, um, the bottom right here click submit and it's right here here will show like the armor and all that click download SQL batch file click the first one right here you could either save it or open it with open it with Haiti SQL <coughs> okay because open it with okay 
Okay, now right here, make sure you have your your server up. Oh wait, hold on, I forgot to add something. Okay, now sell net. Make sure, like, if you edit anything, um, like if you miss something or something, make sure you click submit, or it won't save it. Okay, now download. Open with. Okay, now make sure um, my SQL is up. Okay, uh, just start up my SQL. That's all that's needed. Okay, uh, connect. Um, you guys should pretty pretty much know the, the your password and your and the username for um, for your database. Okay. Um, now, if you made a if you made an item like a bag, jewelry, armor, or like a weapon, look for the items table, which is right here. Double click, go to query, and hit F9. So make sure yeah, make sure you hit F9 or click this right here. Um, okay. I get an error because I didn't put a display ID. So yeah. But you have to put one. If you made a your creature like a boss, NPC or vendor, go to creature names, go to query and hit this thing again. Okay, um well that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching my tutorial on how to add customs to your server. Please remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. Bye.